G'day YouTube. This video will show you guys how to install and use the Conky dashboard that's currently displaying on the right hand side of my screen there. So it's quite a cool nifty little gadget as you can see. It displays the hardware information in real time just to keep you up to date so you know what's going on. Now you can see some things like the CPU utilization, the RAM usage, the uploads and downloads and uh, other things of that nature so it's pretty cool. So in order to install it, it's a, it's a fairly small and simple procedure and I'll get into it now with you. So what you do need to do is use the terminal for this. So hit the keys, Control, Alt and T to open up a terminal and first install Conky. Now I've already got it installed but what you will need to do is still type in yourself uh, sudo apt install Conky dash all. Hit enter, throw in your password and let that load. Now of course as already mentioned mine's already installed and loaded as you can obviously see so that's a little bit of a faster process for me. Now after that is done open up a, a terminal again or start to use that terminal again and type in the following so that you can actually access the Conky file the actual configuration file that sets it up all in this way as you can see it there. So type in sudo get it etc conky conky dot conf now sudo means root privileges get it means the actual notepad itself that you'll be using to edit the config file and the rest is the location of the actual file itself so hit enter let that load up and you'll see some default settings on yours now the ones that you'll see are actually fairly rudimentary fairly simple and you don't really want to use them I've, uh, I've got an example of one on my desktop at the moment here and I'll post it below in the in the comments of the video but what I'm going to do is copy this information to here or in fact of course it's already there but what you'll do is go copy of course select all and paste then click save now it actually updates it in real time which is really really cool so I'll post you that uh, conky.config conky, conky .config file uh, down below now that's pretty much it in terms of getting it set up. Now there are a lot of options, there are a lot of ways to get Conky uh, configured and you'll find literally hundreds to thousands of them online which is really great. You can change the colors, you can change what's displayed, you can change a lot about the CPU, about the temperature, all sorts of things. So I, I definitely recommend you guys Google and get into that. But this is just a basic bare bones default version of Conky that you guys can use. Uh, now last but not least, definitely not least, just say for example you guys want to, to start on startup, don't forget to go to the menu and type in startup applications, click on that and then you'll see of course I've already got Conky set up but all you need to do is create one from scratch, make custom command not application because this is actually command that's running this so go to custom command and type in Conky which is the name, Conky the command and start up delay time which just keep it at zero seconds now I can add that that's already in there so need no need for me to personally turn that on but there you go you've got conky at startup as well which is great to see so that's pretty much it guys in a nutshell um, I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope this has been of some help for you please leave a comment and if you haven't uh, please subscribe cheers thanks for your time